Today we're going to talk about the metallics. They are a beautiful thread and they do have some characteristics that can make them a little challenging to work with and we're going to share tips with you that will make it very easy and dreamlike to work with. Metallics come in 36 colors and they are a core with a metal thread wrapped around them and I like to use a metallic needle with them but if you don't have a metallic then you can use a top stitch or a jeans needle and usually an 80 or a 90 is sufficient with these. Then we have our sliver which is a flat polyester film and this thread again has to feed flat as it goes into your machine. Just to really give you an idea of what we're talking about most times when you're when you're threading your machine you have it coming off horizontally and you can see how it's twisting and if you have it vertically and also coming off the top there it is twisting again this is going to make it break so if you think about the different ways that you can thread on your machine my favorite way is usually with it on the vertical spool pin and then as it feeds into the machine it's staying nice and flat and this is going to be the best way of working with it hollow shimmer has another layer on it that creates that beautiful holographic effect and this is is actually one of my favorites but both of them now are just beautiful threads to work with and they are a little on the delicate side so again with the the tips the threading vertical spool pin so that it feeds flat into the machine you might have to reduce your upper thread tension a little bit and make sure again you're using a metallic needle size 90 and if you don't have that then you can use a size 90 in a top stitch or the jeans needle. I want to show you just how simple it is to make the metallics work beautifully for you. So I'm actually going to do a simple thread painting design on a ready-made place map. I'm going to use the Solvi which is a water soluble stabilizer and notice that all of the stabilizers are now color coded. So any of the water solubles have the blue color and our tear away and in this project I'm going to use the tear easy is highlighted with the green so it makes it very easy to select the proper stabilizer. So for this free motion thread painting I've got to get my design onto the placement. So I've taken the master design which I just printed off of the the internet and I laid Solvi, water soluble Solvi, on top of that and with an extra fine point permitting pin I have traced the design onto the Solvi and I can then lay the design onto the position that I would like it at on my placemat and then to stabilize this so that it doesn't pucker I'm going to use the tear easy this is a thin crisp lightweight tear away that will not break the stitches when I finish up my work and, and remove it now to keep all of these from sliding around I'm going to use the KK2000 which is our temporary spray adhesive it's non-flammable, non-toxic, odorless and good news it's safe for the planet and maximum coverage and this goes a long way it's very concentrated so we'll shake it up and then I'll lightly spray my Solvi design with the KK2000 now normally you would be in a little spray area I'm just going to lightly spray that and then I can position it on my placemat where I would like it to be and it's going to hold it down and I don't even have to use pins to hold the Solvi into position and then to stabilize, actually stabilize the back once more I'm going to take the Tear Easy and I'll lightly spray that also with the KK2000 again you can see I'm just doing it very lightly and then I'll position that on the back of the placemat with the spray side down so that it's covering the entire area for my embroidering. Okay. To do free motion work I have replaced the regular foot of the machine with the embroidery darning foot and because I have replaced the regular stitching foot with with the darning embroidery foot I want to make sure that my pressure foot lever goes down. 
I'm going to hold on to my top thread and just like if you were painting or or appliqueing, you work from the furthest part of your design forward. So I'll start with the stems and the leaves and I'm using the hollow shimmer thread. Now notice I just take one little stitch and then use that to pull my bobbin thread up to the surface. I've got my feed dogs already lowered and I'm on a straight stitch and with free motion thread painting I'm going to control the stitch length. So I'm going to take just a couple of stitches to, to, to lock my thread and I want the needle to stop in the down position so I don't lose my stitch placement. And now I can clip these little extra threads off. I don't need them any longer. And with free motion work, you want to set up nice and straight, hold the work nice and taut, and I'm just going to run the machine at a steady, even speed and move my work slowly and follow the line. When I get to the end of that line, then I'll release the tension on the foot bring it over to the next area and I want to stitch it a couple of times so that it looks nice and clean. Then when you're all finished, then we are ready to remove the salvi and the salvi is water soluble so you could rinse it away I actually prefer to just gently pull away the excess and then I can spritz the rest of it or take a wet q-top and blot it off I have also can spritz this and put a paper towel over it and press it away that in that manner then we've got our stabilizer on the back side and again we want to get rid of that and with the Terra EC it's going to come away very cleanly so I'm going to do it gently towards the stitches and you can see how that just starts to pull away.